All right, uh, greetings family. This is Bomani Tayamba and uh, welcome to our Africa for the Africans a Tours and Investment Conference call. And today's date is May 14th, 2023 uh, for the uh, 17th year of our journey of a lifetime tours to Africa. All right. So good night everyone and greetings everyone and a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers of the world. And I appreciate everyone joining us tonight. And what I want to do is uh, go into our full schedule as far as uh, what we have coming up for this year of 2023 and 2024. And also just go over preparation details. And when we go through these things, it's a lot of information and 100% of the information that we talk about uh, is going to come from our website for the tour details, our YouTube page for the video contents, and Facebook uh, page for uh, social pages and also for photos and uh, other highlights. Uh, so that's uh, what we uh, plan to keep doing. That's to share the documentation with all of our travels, our journeys, and uh, this great materials and this keep our energy going and build the energy of tourism into investment projects as we talk about investments. So investment is not always uh, in all of the tours, but uh, the goal is to keep it going in Ghana, uh, which is the you know, quote unquote uh, repatriation investment tour, uh, which we have coming up uh, next. So that is coming up in 10 days. So um, hopefully um, everyone get themselves some rest and be prepared to ready, be prepared to uh, join us on that journey. And uh, the main thing as we talk about being prepared for the journey is to make sure that uh, you have all of your tickets, your documentation together. So um, I'm hoping that everybody has their passports um, as of now. If not, and you don't have it, um, you know, it's one of those emergency situations where you have to just call me and we just figure it out. Uh, so everyone should be clear for our visas because our goal is always to do our visas uh, two to three months ahead of time. That way the visa process is completed and you can just uh, rest at ease. And the next thing um, is the uh, tickets. So for those who are looking to travel with us to Ghana in the next 10 days, uh, only thing that we ask everyone to do is to make sure that you log in, check in with your tickets. Uh, if you need to change uh, your contact information, add emergency contact, add any kind of uh, mail requests. If you need to change seats, if you need to do any of those things, uh, and, the goal is for everyone just to get those things organized and completed. Uh, that way you can make your journey uh, nice and smooth. So those are the two main things, uh, visas and tickets. Uh, next thing uh, we talk about is um, making sure that we do a meetup. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go directly to, uh, uh, directly to the preparation page. And this is not just for Ghana. It's uh, for all the countries that we travel to. It's a general preparation page on the website on each of uh, the different tour links. So since we're going to Ghana, we can just use that one. And then we can just go into some of the other uh, tour files for some of the other countries. All right, so family, the screen sharing is set. Hopefully everyone can see the Africa for the Africans Tours and Investment banner and the uh, slideshow. So once you get to our website, um, that's the first thing you'll see. And then you'll see a slideshow and an MP3 player uh, that I have on pause that plays uh, nice cultural music. So for uh, those who are looking on the website from a mobile device, uh, the mobile version uh, does not have the slideshow and it does not have the MP3 player. So what you'll see is everything else. So what you can do is just go to the main menu or you can scroll down. And uh, once you scroll down, you're gonna see the uh, tour details for all of the tour schedules that we have. And now uh, let me just go through the tour schedule and then I'm gonna get to the uh, Ghana page and then we're gonna go through the preparation and then just go through information that's the uh, Encourage those of us that are traveling to this review the information, be clear on it. And that's what we're looking to use to you know, make sure you're clear on the tour and actually follow through in the uh, tour program. So we just got back from our uh, Senegal and the Gambia Roots tour. That's, um, that was March 30th to April 9th. So we set off this year with that journey and uh, 
that journey is now in highlights on our YouTube and Facebook page uh, to just relive the memory. And as we build from the, uh, this is uh, the second time we did that journey. And the first time was two years ago. So just expanding on that energy uh, for the uh, two country uh, journey. Yeah. And that's a combination of, uh, you know, you know, you'll see different things. So you, what you, one thing you see about Senegal is a well-developed country and the game is not as developed, but uh, you'll see a cross between this having to work out how we communicate uh, since it's predominantly French in Senegal, and then this maybe feeling a little better energy in, in the Gambia. Uh, so that that's always an interesting journey. This um, any of the journeys you come on, I tell everyone just go with the flow, enjoy the energy, and we just our goal is just to make it as nice as possible and then nicer and nicer as time go along, based on our experience of just uh, traveling to the country. Uh, so. Uh, that journey is also reset for another, uh, for basically two years from, less than two years from now. So as you know, we have great journeys in the country and, you know, and people just love the interest. We just keep uh, doing it. Uh, so off we are to uh, Ghana. We'll just talk about then Rwanda. Rwanda, unfortunately, don't have a lot of energy for that one. So that one that would have to be our reschedule, but we'll, I'll find out once we return from uh, Ghana. Yeah. The next journey after our return from Ghana is uh, Tanzania. So Tanzania, that will be our fourth journey of a lifetime right there in Tanzania. And that's from November 16 to the 27, 2023. And that is uh, one of those countries where we, just, we have right in the middle of Zanzibar Island for a tropical getaway. And then you know, the culture of Arusha and Dar es Salaam. And always encouraging anyone, if you wanna stay back longer, uh, just let us know, and all we have to do is just change the tickets uh, and things like that. So uh, that's always something I just try myself uh, as best as possible to remind everyone that uh, the dates that you see is the dates that uh, we're using for a tour schedule. If you need to get there earlier or stay longer, these things can always always be changed. If your tickets are already purchased already, you can work it out with the airlines, and they'll let you know the options to either get there earlier or stay longer or do both. Uh, so those are things I'm just putting out here uh, in general. So, you know, people can process those things when they make these decisions. Uh, we're gonna close out here in uh, South Africa and that's for December 24th uh, to January 4th. So that's our unique schedule for uh, this year, a very aggressive schedule and uh, so far so good. This uh, uh, coming up on our second journey and then we have two more to close out towards the end of the year. And that's uh, four journeys and just building the energy as far as we just encourage more people to travel, live, connect, do business, and open up their minds to the future of Africa. And so the feature journey that we have coming up is a Liberia Reconnection and Investment Tour, March 29th to April 9th, 2024. Uh, so all the journeys that I just mentioned, those are all the journeys that we're just currently just uh, working on to get uh, basically to build a group so we advise anyone that's looking to travel, is, uh, check out the uh, itinerary, these itineraries. Uh, some of them will be modified based on this efficiency at a later time, uh, especially when you build a group. Uh, you may need, you know, you may have a example of a better budget to you know, add a few things in there and things like that. Uh, so, uh, but the, uh, as far as the schedule that we're gonna do uh, directly, it says, close as possible. Uh, and that's based on this issue of just creating these schedules. And for the most part, the only countries that are new is Rwanda and Liberia. Uh, other countries are just experiencing the countries. And, and as far as the countries that we haven't been, you know, we have our partners and people there in place uh, that uh, we're building energy. And every country is gonna be, you know, one, sooner or later, a country is gonna be the first time we've ever been there. And so what we do, a lot of times just, uh, just you know, find the best country we can add in and put the schedule together and just create an, a dynamic uh, reconnection to our Africa. So Liberia is that uh, journey and uh, that's what we've been talking about. We've been pushing, we've been talking about the, you know, the connection of um, black America or uh, black people in the Americas to, to Liberia, the foundation of the country, the rebuilding of the country. Uh, we're talking about we're in West Africa, we can connect, uh, do more tours, do more business investment, create more opportunities for those who want to live uh, in the country and those who want to connect 
Um, you know, the world that we've been building, uh, that uh, connection from America to Africa, building that, uh, you know, beyond connection, building that uh, business pipeline and building uh, a mindset to this, wanting to seek out more. Uh, so that's the, uh, the energy that we have built. And uh, that will be uh, year number 18, is, uh, doing these journeys. And then the 20th year in the African continent that uh, is traveling. And it's, just, it's one of those things that you just, you know, start out very uh, young in our early 20s is doing research and traveling to Africa. And, uh, and as time goes along, you realize it's, 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 it, it's uh, give you a connection to this, create, you know, create a new world where more of us feel comfortable and go into the different countries and want to do more. Uh, so that's what we're looking to honestly uh, just open up in Liberia and uh, looking forward to a circle connection. And so there we go, family. So Again, for anyone that's interested in that journey, just click on the link, uh, read more. We're gonna only go through so much of these uh, tour schedule. Yeah. So we have a Ghana schedule for the first time in a long time for July 11th to the 23rd, 2024. Uh, so that schedule is set to where, you know, uh, for those who uh, said that uh, maybe uh, the times were going in May, uh, they couldn't go because school was still in. Uh, this is a perfect time. I don't know how the future schedules will work, but I just base these schedules on a few different things as I uh, create them um, in advance as up to uh, two years ahead. Uh, so with that, the Ghana journey, that's uh, another repatriation investment tour. So we have the uh, business and investment conference and we have the land tour investment and we have a whole lot of networking. And then, you know, so that's always, uh, that's actually the foundation where I get ideas to do everything else. Uh, Cause there's so much, you know, once you create a dynamic uh, itinerary like that, um, you can just build it in other places because it just uh, focus on this so many different things to give you just a balanced experience uh, in a certain time uh, with a lot of different options. So from there, we're off to uh, Egypt. So this will be my um, second time in Egypt and this will actually be uh, year number 20. Uh, and that's when we started traveling to Africa. Started traveling in 2004. And Egypt was the second country that was in April 2004 and Senegal was um, March of 2004. And so Egypt was this uh, great energy of experience of this being on an organized tour where you're able to just stay in uh, a fancy hotels and have a nice um, you know, bus to take you around the country, get on uh, cruise, uh, cruise boats um, and just um, go to different um, museum, cultural places, you know, small boats and enjoy great dining and just enjoy a great social experience, uh, lectures, presentations and things like that. So, so that was with our uh, Dr. Renoko Rashidi, uh, rest his soul, uh, that was 2004. Uh, so that would be that 20 year connection. And I, that video is actually up here on YouTube that I, I shot. Uh, it was uh, it's scary sometimes to watch it, but but that would have been 20 years ago. Uh, so we have that set. So me and my good sister, Mitchell, on a mission. Uh, uh, she traveled with, uh, traveled with us to uh, Ghana a few years back and she liked energy of the flow of this, the tours that we're doing. She ended up just living in Egypt and built a great experience doing tourism and things of that nature. So we was able to you know, connect uh, to where she reached out to me a few times about uh, the, Let's do something uh, in Egypt, and I told her I got her, uh, and uh, you know, eventually created a schedule that works, and now that's what we have Egypt, and it's the same thing as Liberia. And my good brother wanted me to put, put it out there for a while, and a lot of times you just have to put all the elements of things together, and everything is going to always be based on the itinerary and this, uh, all the things that you have experience with, the things you can just logistically work out, and then just make it this work. Uh, and then you can, uh, you know, in general, 100% uh, create basically a dynamic tour program that's going to reconnect us to our roots, give us a good experience in Africa, open our minds up to, uh, to different aspects of Africa, and then connect us to future investments and connect us to, uh, you know, a social world with those of us that are traveling. Uh, so all those are all the things that, you know, you're just looking to mix in. So as you work with the different people uh, that you build experience with, uh, you know, we all get it, and our goal is just to, you know, if you create a masterpiece, the goal is just to, you know, add to that masterpiece. Uh, so 
these journeys are uh, also what you make it. So I advise everyone to like, come out, just enjoy your best life, your best time, and any craziness or anything that needs to be done, we'll do it, and we'll do the run around for you, and we'll uh, make sure you're accommodated, make sure you're good, and you just enjoy yourself and just enjoy the journey, share with others, encourage others, and keep the energy in Africa going. It's uh, unbelievable. Uh, I don't remember. I remember 20 years ago, but energy to this connect to Africa, do things in Africa or anything African, it just it wasn't as dynamic. And now it is. And, you know, I believe, you know, you, you strike while the iron is hot. And right now it's a great time, a great excitement of just being in Africa. Uh, so once we finish there, um, I don't have a December schedule uh, for 2024 yet. Uh, but uh, however, since uh, the Senegal and Gambia journey was just incredible, the only thing that I would say that I would change, uh, which I have changed, is instead of driving from Senegal to the Gambia um, and then driving back from the Gambia to Senegal, because Senegal has that, in, that incredible international airport. So uh, the main base of that is the flight will go directly from New York directly to Senegal. So um, but. The Gambia Airport, uh, it's a whole different airlines uh, dealing with United and other airlines. So that was a part of the sequence. So, you know, you always got to go back to the drawing board and go back to this fresh game plan. So the idea was uh, just to take a flight from the uh, uh, Senegal Airport uh, there uh, in India uh, and fly directly to Banjul, the Gambia. Uh, so that's worked out on that itinerary for if I click on it and look at the itinerary, it'll be laid out because, you know, when you have these fresh uh, flow in your heads out, especially when you, you're experiencing a journey and you're looking, you, you're looking around and you just, you know, you're processing things and your goal is efficiency and things like that. So that is the, that will be the difference. Um, and it is, yeah, just make life a lot uh, easier. Um, sometimes but um, as time go along and you know you have more airport efficiency you know that's the goal anyway um, but uh, that schedule that uh, is available now wasn't always available uh, during this COVID-19 era so uh, we just create an itinerary where we drive and work the airport system as best as we can so these are the logistic operations and uh, things that we just work on so now uh, since we're leaving for Ghana and I want to and I just want to go to a uh, all 30 points of the preparation. I'm gonna click on the Ghana May 2023 link. And so once you click on the link, uh, you'll see tour overview, which give you all of the numbers and all of what's included, what's uh, not included, then uh, the day-to-day -day itinerary, general terms, uh, visa guidelines, improving your immune system, language translations, so those are all of the uh, supporting documents that are created. And so the next uh, thing that uh, we have is the uh, departure reminder list or on some tour files, depends on which country you click on. It's called uh, the uh, preparation list, uh, something similar to that. All right, so I know, yes, it is a lot of text, uh, but uh, just trying to get right to the point and, you know, typing up a summary. Um, and this is a list. Um, it's uh, they're all the flow of all of these um, lists. Uh, they're all the same. So the only difference is this one to say Ghana. So as I talk about uh, this list, it's uh, anyone that's traveling with us to any other country. Uh, this is just a general list uh, in reference to this all of our travel um, and I'll just explain whatever difference once we come across it based on countries. Like example, some countries you do not need a visa and some countries you need a visa and things like that. All right, so I'll just go through all of these based on numbers and let's start from one. So one is basically saying that uh, all of the our tour documentation um, uh, including all the files I just mentioned, uh, overview, itinerary, general terms, visa process, language translation, um, what, to, what to pack, what to bring, uh, departure reminder list, uh, any uh, supporting tour files that's all, always there on the uh, current uh, 
country that you travel into, once you click on it, just uh, click and read and that's your update. And you know, just go through these and uh, just make sure that they're efficient over a period of time. Uh, so it's, um, and then try to just, when we type, you know, when you were creating this, uh, creating this information, the goal is just to make sure that's just not a whole lot. Uh, and I guess sometimes, uh, and, you know, it seems like a whole lot, but uh, this is uh, something that you just recommend uh, people just look at over a period of time and that would just help you process everything. Uh, all right, so that is the uh, link, uh, all the tour files. Uh, number two are gratuities. So for gratuities, uh, the goal is uh, to uh, collect a uh, hundred dollars per tour part uh, tour participant, our tour members, and uh, that will be this uh, when we all meet up or when we get to the country. Uh, either way, we just uh, work it out. But uh, this is uh, a confirmed amount uh, that we use to uh, add as a separate uh, cost. And what we do, we look into. Uh, Add tips uh, that includes for uh, drivers, guides at sites, uh, hotel staff, entertainment. Uh, for this one, as far as um, Ghana, one Africa, uh, and all our services that uh, we have in the uh, tour. Uh, and just anything else outside of that, you can just uh, tip a few or choose to. But uh, this is what we just used to just cover the entire operation, uh, including logistic baggage of movements and things like that. So. Uh, that is uh, the cost. So this, the goal is just to provide this a full breakdown. So anyone that uh, want to know these things, uh, it's uh, in clarity uh, or in detail. So that's what you're going to see when you look at the uh, tour overview. It's going to say uh, what's not included. And what's not included is visa costs, uh, lunch, and uh, group tips. As far as lunch, you may have one or two uh, countries where some lunch may be included and some may not. But uh, once you go to that, uh, go to that uh, country uh, tour uh, details, uh, it will just explain it in uh, details. All right, uh, three, uh, when you come, uh, do not uh, romanticize um, about uh, whatever country you're looking to travel to. Uh, just uh, don't want anyone to be um, disappointed or unnecessarily frustrated. Uh, come with an open eyes and an open mind, knowing that um, different countries that we travel into, um, in this case, like Ghana is a developing nation and there is much to do and you could be a positive energy uh, in the country. And keep in mind, uh, Ghana slash Africa is not America or Europe um, and nor we want it to be and we're just looking to reconnect and just enjoy an experience. And number four, it talks about uh, your tickets. So, Based on what country you're going to, um, usually all the uh, tickets, or majority of the tickets are booked to Delta uh, slash uh, KLM. And um, some countries, um, it, it depends on you know, the situation. Some uh, members may be flying on other airlines. So what we say in general uh, is just uh, make sure that you log into your airline booking and just take ownership of your, your flight schedule, flight information. Uh, keep up with it. Uh, if there's any uh, information that's incorrect, or not right or something not sure about, then you can just reach out to me. And if there's anything that you'd like to change in general, you can always call reservations for that uh, airlines. And uh, once you just give them your name and your confirmation, uh, you can just make whatever changes you need to do, upgrades, things like that. Uh, you can do all those things uh, right there ahead of time. And number five and six. Um, now, just recommend everyone just uh, make sure that you have all your documents printed out have all your things organized, uh, put in one section of your bag that you're gonna always have uh, close to you and just be prepared to uh, pull out what you have to pull out and show at um, show right there at the reservations, uh, not reservations at uh, check-in and uh, make sure that um, everything is clear, everything match up, everything looks good. Uh, so that would just save you a whole lot of uh, stress and issues. Uh, number seven, um, recommend arriving uh, two to three hours or sometimes just as early as two to four hours. Uh, just have enough time to just get through security, uh, get to your flights. And it, it's honestly just depends on airport. Some airport are simple and easy. Some airport, it just seems like you just, you're just never going to get to your gate. Uh, so all of those, uh, you know, uh, depends. Uh, so you know, you know, um, you know, you know yourself and moving to airports and so just you know, pace yourself. So that's the other uh, time frame that we just recommend. 
And if you know nothing else, uh, then we just recommend our three hours. All right, uh, eight and nine, um, eight uh, check bags. Uh, so um, what we were booking is our international route, uh, regardless if we were flying from domestic. So it's uh, two bags included on our Delta Airlines, and that is uh, two 50 pound bags. And then as far as um, uh, overweight bags, that, that is $100. Um, if the bag is overweight from uh, 51 to 70 pounds, uh, or basically one to 20 pounds more. Uh, if you were looking to uh, purchase an extra bag, it is $200. So that is their cost, $200 for their extra bag. And then in general, uh, no bags over 70 pounds. So the idea is just to uh, get you two bags, uh, make sure it's uh, you know something that you're gonna not stress yourself out with and you can just easily move. And as, as far as your carry-on bags, uh, whether it's a backpack and a small, you know, small roll-on, um, uh, your goal is to make sure one can fit uh, an overhead bin and another one can fit in front of the seat under you. So uh, make sure the, um, uh, the carry-on that you have is just, um, nice enough to where you can just fit it in the overhead bin. Uh, and remember the uh, seat in front of you, you know, you can just uh, stuff anything uh, in there. So if you have a backpack or something, you can just work it in. So that's uh, you know your four bags uh, that uh, you're gonna need to work in all of your things that you're looking to uh, travel with. So definitely just recommend everyone just, just coordinate what you're looking to bring. Uh, if you have things that you wanna get rid of or things that you just wanna leave in a country or trade, or even better yet, if uh, you have school supplies you like to bring, uh, once you get rid of them, uh, that will give you more space to bring back uh, you know, more things, especially if you're a big shopper, if you wanna you know, purchase more. All right, and it uh, comes to our 10. Um, so that's what we recommend uh, with uh, luggage. And, uh, Hello? Chauncey, uh, greetings. Uh, Chauncey, greetings. Hi, how, how are you? This is Maurice. Um, um, uh, Maurice. Chauncey's husband. Let me ask you a question. Um, the hotels we're staying at, places we're going has security measures been addressed? Uh, what we're going through, uh, we're going to a preparation list. That's what we're going through. Uh, if you just came on, the, the best thing I would say is just wait for our question and answers and uh, go into a presentation. Of, uh, yeah, departure okay. of this. All right, so family, let me get back to, uh, all right, so we're looking at uh, 10. So what, uh, definitely I recommend uh, you just um, make sure you have some uh, nice luggage and you can just pack everything that you need and uh, just work out a sequence if you, you know, if you plan to be a big shopper. All right, uh, 11, uh, as far as for Ghana, we have the different ceremonies and uh, we have uh, different an ancestral, uh, reconnection. Uh, we have two days of it. So one day I uh, recommend is recommend is bringing all white, and that's usually when we go to uh, the Cape Coast African Holocaust dungeons. Uh, so that's uh, all white. And then another day uh, I recommend this uh, bringing um, a combination of red, black, and green, and that's to go to a Sin Manso, and that's um, when we're leaving from uh, Elmina uh, and heading to Kumasi. So those are the two days and uh, they're not back to back, but there's one days apart. But uh, so as we're talking about luggage and packing, uh, those are the things that uh, recommend you pack. And then uh, once we go into that itinerary, you know, you just, you know, we'll remind you and you know, this is a coordination network and uh, great energy. So these are some of the things that we write in our tour programs. Uh, number uh, 12. Uh, bring any uh, school supplies uh, to donate to the uh, children. Uh, we we have uh, anywhere from our, we have anywhere from our two to three schools uh, at this point. Uh, so for the school supplies you give, our goal is just to split it up. And then uh, what we do is this: uh, we collect financial donations when we're there, and then the so and then in general, anything anyone wants to donate outside of school supplies, uh, you know, it's offered to uh, the school and the children. 
Uh, number uh, 14, uh, bring any uh, necessary medicine that uh, you may need. So I just recommend that, uh, you know, you just think about uh, what you may need. And, you know, they have pharmacies around, just like you have, uh, the, you, know, you have the malls, um, you have the Accra Mall right there in, by our hotel in Accra, and then you have the Kumasi Mall by our hotel in Kumasi. So uh, you have good access and good uh, connections there. So the next uh, thing is uh, this, and if you need something in general, you know, we can always get you a ride there, but in general, just bring what you think you need and just uh, be prepared. And it's only, you know, it's only much uh, as you can uh, do, but I uh, just want to put those things out there. Uh, 15, uh, cameras, camcorders, um, and then that is, uh, it's your phone. So bring any um, additional memory cards, film, um, rechargeable batteries, uh, things like that. And for those who are looking to use the uh, Ghana system for, to, for a phone itself, uh, what we recommend is just bring an unlock phone, um, this, um, a GSM unlock, um, and whether it's an iPhone or Samsung Galaxy, which are two of the more popular ones, uh, that's all you need. And then once you get to Ghana, uh, we're in the city, uh, we can always get you um, a SIM card and get you set up for a Ghana phone number. And then you can just purchase, uh, yeah. you can just purchase uh, data and then, you know, you can have a Ghana phone number. You can use it as a wireless hotspot for your phone and things like that. Or when you get to the, you know, when you get to the country, you can always use the wireless uh, network at the hotels if you just want to use your WhatsApp, which uh, is what we just recommend also for everybody just to be on the, the WhatsApp group. So if you travel with me or you're interested in travel with me and uh, you're not on the WhatsApp group, just, uh, just text me and I can add you. Um, always just looking to add people. That's how we keep up with them and uh, share information. But that's always another unique way as far as if you're just looking to this, make phone calls or just uh, communicate with us, anyone you need to communicate with. Um, and then the next uh, option, uh, option number three, is just to uh, get an international plan with your uh, phone company uh, here in the U.S. Uh, that way you can receive phone calls, texts, and, and things like that there in Ghana, uh, whichever country. So those are the three methods that I've used uh, use on every uh, use all the time in Ghana. And the only thing I don't use is uh, I don't have another phone that I usually just get a SIM card in another country because uh, usually I'm just in and out of most of those countries for tours. And in Ghana, if I'm staying longer, you know, I usually have my phone for business. So those are the methods that um, that's available and the ones I've tried and used. So I'm always uh, here to give advice and always here to just answer any questions. For anyone who have any question for, um, uh, any question based on those things as far as communicating in Africa and how networks work and things like that. All right, as I scroll down the list and I'm almost out there. Uh, 16, uh, travel iron, alarm clocks, uh, plastic bags, compact, uh, compact uh, umbrella, waterproof poncho, and other convenient accessories. So these are all the, all the things that, you know, you just usually just, uh, recommend, um, especially if you're just moving like that. So uh, you can bring them, uh, you cannot, uh, but uh, it's uh, just basically part of a travel list uh, based on just being in a, in a situation moving in. It's the same list I use myself. Uh, 17, mosquito spray repellent. And so, so I always recommend if uh, you know, mosquitoes love your skin, just make sure that you just bring something to this, get them off you. Um, and is the mosquitoes that bad? You know, for me personally, mosquitoes are bad everywhere. I've never been a place in my life where they have mosquitoes where it was good. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, uh, if you've never been to the country that we're going to um, and you just live somewhere like in Georgia, some other places, yeah, the mosquitoes are just the same. It's annoying and irritating. And you're just trying to enjoy outside. So uh, that's what we just recommend. Uh, 18, uh, uh, currency exchange for, for Ghana. So I, I can never remember all the countries and I get lost and just trying to keep up with just different numbers and things. So the good thing is it's the only country that we travel to at this moment, so, uh, which is excellent. You, just, you can just focus on it. So it's, um, uh, it's uh, for one US dollars, it's 11 Ghana CDs and who knows if it will go up or go down, but uh, that's usually what it is. So, um, and then you'll see 50 and hundred dollar bills. Uh, and that's what I recommend bringing uh, as much fifties and 100 US dollar bills as possible. And uh, don't worry about trying to exchange anything less than a 1500 because you're gonna get less money for it. And it's gonna add up over a period of time. So don't bring like $2,000 or $20 bills. Uh, it's just gonna cost you a lot of money. 
So, um, and it's made no sense to me also, but I'm just have to explain it to you because that's how I work in the country. And uh, it, it's, you know, you go there to the foreign exchange and be my tour guide the last time in Tanzania showed it to me. And, and I was looking at it and I just really, I mean, it really just said 50s and $100 bill, this rate, and then 20s, 10s, this rate. And, you know, so some of us may never have seen that before, but that's how it works. So recommend that. Also recommend um, if you just don't want to bring too much money on you, you can always just get your money from the ATM machines. Uh, ATM machines, they're very reliable. Um, there's some countries that would rate this higher than other countries. And uh, as far as uh, this country here, Ghana, um, yeah, uh, you know, one of the best as far as this, uh, using the ATM machines and the machines working and if something gets stuck or something happened, whatever, it's uh, resolved simple. So that's what I would uh, recommend. And also if you're using machines, recommend, uh, you know, you don't just use one in you know, some hick town, not hick town, excuse my language, um, some a rural town, like this rural to where they, no one ever comes and replenishes the money or machine doesn't uh, always work. Uh, so goal is always to take you to a, um, uh, take you to, um, you know, you can't always get to national or main branch, but take it to, you know, a, you know, a branch that, uh, you know, that's effective. That way, if you just need to use, use it, you can just get what you need to get efficiently. So be prepared for that as far as this, uh, you're moving around. And what I recommend is that, you know, you're moving around for a few days, you have that itinerary, plan out what you're going to spend and what you need to get. That way you can just get it within the first two days. And then when you get to the next location, you can always just, you know, we can always do more exchange. But, you know, I go always to do the best to, Make sure we have someone that, that can exchange your money from US to a local currency as best as possible available with us throughout the, uh, the day. And then also uh, if you just need to get access to the AT machines. Uh, so we can always make a run every other day if we need to make a run. Uh, so enough on that. And uh, number 19, uh, just I recommend uh, this, you know, you know, recommend you just, uh, Literally, just, uh, just process all those things and don't want to scare anybody with the last part, the, the unfreeze part. But the reason I put those things because, you know, it has happened to me. All, you know, these things have happened to me over the period of time and it's not personal. It's just it's to protect your money, I guess, uh, and protect uh, certain things. Uh, so you can always call a bank and just let them know, hey, you're traveling and these cards you're using. That does help. And if not, then, you know, you, you, know, you can just make a call uh, while you're there in the country and then they'll fix the problem. All right, so perfect. Just, want to just make sure everybody is comfortable on those things. All right, so weather is going to be very tropical, mid 80s. So just, just tropical. Uh, we're going to go out uh, to eat, uh, so, and uh, we're going to have night and uh, investment conference events and things like that. So just always recommend everyone just dress casual, dress nice, and just enjoy it. Uh, we have nice pools and nice social gatherings. So just dress for the multitude based on the flow of the itinerary. You know, we have pool parties, we have social gatherings, and not everything, you know, you, you know, you have to just join, but uh, it's just creating a world where you can just experience all aspects of life. All right, uh, 21, there's a few places that's try to keep it down on <laughs> taking photos at airport. Uh, I'm not saying that you shouldn't take photos at airport. You know, people like myself have bad habits of just taking photos and pictures everywhere. It just, you know, you honestly can't help yourself. But, you know, unfortunately, you know, some people, you know, I guess, or they may say that they get targeted on YouTube and people, but for the most part, you know, usually you just get a warning to, you know, cut out the recording and you just have to stop immediately. So that's what I recommend if you decide to just record anything in those places to stop immediately or if the tour guide said, don't do it, just follow him because that's another issue. Um, just, you know, they're doing their best to just tell you what not to do because, uh, you know, unfortunately, these... The good thing about experience, when you know you experience these things, you can tell people that you know that's the reason why we're doing them because we have experience in uh, situations. All right, so um, twenty-two. Um, recommend everyone is get uh, travel insurance, and that's just a uh, general recommendation, like other recommendations. Uh, if you don't choose to get it, that's uh, all all good. But um, the, one of the questions that you always get is what country, uh, sorry, what uh, company? Uh, so Alliance. And that's going to cover you, you know, I would just recommend make sure it covers you. I think it will just cover you for your travel duration and your dates. But uh, those are the things that I would just uh, recommend. Just make sure it cover you for all aspects of the countries that you're going to be in and the, uh, you know, the flow of your schedule and then medical and things like that. 
and then yeah, and then yeah, you can always click and read. Uh, twenty three uh, toiletries including uh, tissue, soap, napkins, wet wipe, facial tissues, washcloths, beach towels, and laundry soap. So people say, why do you have these things on the list? Well, you have them on the list because you go places, then you, you people ask me that people start saying they don't have any washcloths. So the only thing I usually tell people is that yeah, yeah, that's, that's why I only thing I can always remember this uh, to just keep it on the list and just talk about it. But uh, yes, uh, most places you go to, and it, including some very nice places, is don't have washcloths for some strange reason. I'm not going to say it's a whole bunch of uh, different hotels, but I've been to so many different hotels. I don't remember which ones do, which ones don't. So I don't have a chance at don't. I, well, I don't have a chance at. So I, I personally bring uh, my own washcloths and my own beach towels. And uh, not saying just pack everything up, but you know, it's something to process. And now uh, 24, um, as you meet people in the country, you know, you're doing tourism, everybody loves you, you know, spending money, you're having a blast, you're having a great time. Uh, and it's all good and all fun and, you know, and all those wonderful things. But uh, don't take people too, many, too much uh, serious when they're just, um, just trying to just, you know, just talk smooth to you about all kind of business and investment opportunities in the country. You know, you know, usually my, you know, my slogan is just being a no, you know, I'm a no man. So I just usually tell people no all the time uh, because it was just, it, it just, yeah, it's a country full of great opportunities, but everything is just something that you have to just uh, consult with the right people and process and work out and build a level where you understand certain things. And, you know, and unfortunately uh, some of us have been taken advantage of, uh, you know, for those who are on YouTube and see, popular information on YouTube, it does go down. And I'm not, I wouldn't be here to just tell you anything other than the truth. That's kind of how a lot of things go down. Um, all the bad videos you've seen, but that's not the whole country. And that's a very small percentage of what goes on. But unfortunately, uh, you know, the most uh, popular news is always going to be bad news. You know, you can just be a perfect person and you just do one bad thing one day. Next thing anybody know about you, the, the bad person do that one bad thing. Uh, so, um, but yes, it's been uh, those situations. That's why we always talk a lot about business and investments and making the right uh, decisions and working the right people. And I always tell people I don't live in a country, you know, uh, I can't watch and monitor people, but, you know, we have friends and associates that, you know, have your back and will look out for you, but, you know, you have to just work together. Uh, 25, um, games and leisure. So for those who like to displace cards, dominoes, uh, chess, general board games, whether we are one Africa, which is what I recommend those who just always want to travel with us to Ghana, come with us to one Africa. I've been going there since 2006. And it's been this a memorable and this great experience. Uh, and it's the least fancy out of all of the hotels. And I know people like, how could you love the place? It's just the environment, the energy, the vibes, the children there. Just, it's just like being in this an incredible world of nature. Uh, so. Right, uh, as we go down the list, uh, 26, I uh, um, just always recommend anyone just, uh, just bring these basic emergency uh, equipment, uh, basic first aid kit, flashlight, and then there's a few other things on there, but uh, it's just uh, to this once again, just uh, alert some things uh, to you. Uh, 27, uh, the most important thing that I recommend to this everyone, and that's the number one thing I have on the list, is just please focus on enjoying yourself and accomplishing your mission and do not get distracted by others that get caught up into complaining. And this is an experience that will have its ups and down. If you ask me what's an up, uh, up is a great time. Um, this uh, conference and socializing, having great dining, and this uh, just enjoying relaxing. And then downs is always going to be if you got to go somewhere for more than thirty minutes. So I don't think anybody in the world like long drives, but you may have some people like long drives. But unfortunately, some of these journeys we have long drives, and some of these journeys that we have ferry boat rides, and we have. Uh, plane rides, but uh, that's the way we get around countries because one part of the journey is, is just uh, get to the country and we're moving around the country. Like we went to the, the you know, to Senegal again, but that was some movements. You go into one country and then coming back and then uh, Tanzania, going from one part of the country to the next and to the next from plane and ferry boat. So it's a very interesting log logistic experience. So I, you know, I'm, I can always say that I may not always be your best uh, part of the, that journey, but uh, it's, you know, it's, you know, who likes uh, having to go check in and check out and do all those things. So that's your down right there. So it comes with uh, the best moments and then also those natural moments that you have to go through. Uh, so that's always this, I recommend everyone just focus on themselves and then you're traveling with uh, 
a group of different people that are cool people, but they also have, like all of us have our different personalities and things. So I tell people just to focus on enjoying themselves and not focus on what anyone else is doing. Uh, that's one of the quickest ways just to distract yourself and just mess up your journey and things like that and worrying too much about what other people are doing. It's just, I would never understand it, but I'm here 100% for everyone to accommodate. That is my whole purpose of this doing this, to accommodate, make sure you're good in everything, make sure you have any issues, we work it out. And you know, the only way I can do that is by communicating, by you communicating with me and uh, by me just sharing a tour program and we're just going from there. And you just, you know, again, communicating. So. Uh, what we have set up on all of the schedules is recommend that you just be clear on it. Some days you may be more interested in on, so you say, may say, hey, I'm going to skip this day or I'm going to just, you know, work it out. But every day what we have is just a schedule. So someone may say, hey, you know, you should cut this out as a free day. I was like, we have, we've highlighted a few different days that are, are free days, you know, and on the schedule, uh, our days where there's not much going on. But the schedule that we have is there's a bus available every day if you choose to go out to take you somewhere. Uh, and, but when we leave in that physical location, we all have to physically leave unless you're clear that you're going to make your way to the next location. So we just try to make sure those things are nice, clear, and smooth as best as possible. So with all of that, uh, and those things are laid out in the itinerary because especially like the Ghana journey, it's like clockwork. This would be our 23rd time and you're just, you're just trying to just touch up any little thing you can touch up, hotel change, upgrade, whatever you can change to move around. Uh, so. That's what we just recommend. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the next journeys. Uh, we put our heart and soul into it and I've been, uh, and these are just journeys that we've done over and over. So I've been talking with our network of people there in Ghana, Tanzania, South Africa, and also Liberia and just trying to get them just prepared and ready for us. So just appreciate everybody that have committed and everybody that's ready. Uh, the last uh, things that we have is our yellow fever card. If you have one, honestly, just bring it. If you don't have one, we just work out getting it because some of these things are just physically hard to get, but if you can write letters um, and things like that, you know, just work your magic. But uh, as far as um, uh, the last thing I'm going to check is uh, for everyone who does not, anyone who does not have a vaccination card or COVID-19 card, definitely let me know. But if you have one, please make sure you bring it because uh, that this is the only country that's still possibly in limbo where things may not be clear. So I, I do my, I, I myself will read uh, whatever the latest updates I can find in the country based on travel advisory. Uh, so I'm hoping at that point that uh, all these things are clear. So these are, these are a reflection of those last set of things that uh, you need to know. And um, as we close out, uh, when you are, uh, all of us, uh, majority of us are scheduled, um, all of us on this trip are scheduled to leave uh, directly from New York and get to Ghana. So once we get to Ghana, um, just make sure that uh, we all just get our bags. And once we all get our bags, we're kind of, we're, we're going to put ourselves in a, in a zone area to where we can just all just have our bags, you know, just, and then we just make sure that everyone gets their bag and make sure that if anyone is missing a bag, uh, we'll make sure that uh, one of our staff members uh, go with one of us to take them to where they can just uh, go do a, a report. And then I, we'll get everybody on board uh, the bus and then we just uh, get them back. So these are things that we just have organized. Uh, so that's what we just recommend. Uh, so make sure you have all those things ready and just uh, get off the plane um, and show your passport, show some good spirit and energy. I know it's going to be, a, as a matter of fact, it's a blessed flight because it's like 10 hours direct. So we don't have to go to Amsterdam, unlike the next uh, tour that we have. Uh, so this uh, schedule was available, which is fortunate. Uh, so that's been great for the last journey, especially the one to Senegal and the Gambia. That was uh, perfect. Uh, so, uh, you know, I like that direct, uh, those direct flights from New York directly to Africa. So, but for now, uh, it's, uh, it's only in a few countries uh, and that's all on Delta Airlines. All right, uh, so uh, 30, uh, for those who are going to the African Holocaust dungeons, uh, uh, these are the things that we just recommend. Uh, some people may want to do something more sacred, um, uh, light candles. And uh, so this is just what we just recommend. Just, so if you're looking to this, celebrate any kind of ancestral reconnection, the goal is always to say this, uh, bring those special things with you. So family, let me just go back on to the top of the uh, website. So that is uh, it for uh, the uh, departure reminder list. So that was a lot of information. So I'm hoping that uh, those, of, those who are listening just have questions so we can just go through it. So I'm gonna go through a few of the documents that uh, I have up here or a few of the uh, links that I have up here. So uh, this is a, uh, this is my Facebook uh, page. 
And so I just use my Facebook page just to market uh, or share this, uh, my experience in Africa. That I've been doing that since I started. I've been on Facebook from either 06 or 2007. Uh, so um, anyone that's uh, ever sent a friend request, all you have to do is let me know because usually I don't check and I just try to keep the numbers down that low uh, that way if I need to add someone and things like that. So anyone who ever needs to socialize can always socialize. And what I have on this Facebook page is to uh, just, maybe just introduce myself to the world of people and uh, this is who I am and you know, what I've you know, done over my years in life and why I'm interested in building a future in Africa. Uh, so it just shows just the life of Bomani Tayamba and some of my latest uh, posts, which is this uh, conference call that uh, we all, that uh, we know, we always have up uh, for those who want to join and socialize and talk with us about traveling to Africa. So I always have these happy, beautiful groups uh, in all of these uh, posts. Uh, the main part of the uh, Facebook page is photos. So once you click on photos, uh, recommend is to go to albums. Uh, these are some of the uh, Tanzania highlights. But um, whatever you click, all you just see is pictures and pictures, and we just literally just, you know, you know, just take photos, photos to where our son get burned out from all the photos we take. But it's uh, number one, it's uh, you know, it's a journey that you know we have to just share with the rest of the world. Number two, if we didn't do this, uh, people wouldn't think that we're uh, enjoying an experience in Africa, and that Africa is just incredible and you know one of your greatest getaway that you have ever experienced. Uh, so it's bringing the truth to life. So. I'm going to be uploading more Senegal and Gambia photos. This has become so much photos to upload, but um, I, uh, I think we're last left off at, um, I, I do have a few more for Ghana left and uh, from the last journey. So I just put them, I just upload them over a period of time. So what you see is uh, to where you, um, this, uh, just click on any of the links and then you'll just see photo galleries is telling you a digital photo story of our experience uh, in the different countries in Africa. Right, so all of our popular journeys, Senegal, Gambia, Tanzania, South Africa, uh, Ghana, and as time goes along, there's more uh, photos. So that's the main thing uh, with this page. Uh, so for those ever interested, uh, you can just always browse. I set the, uh, the parameters in there to where anyone can go on there. You don't have to be a friend or anything. You can just navigate on the page. It's just, it's kind of like if you just have a whole bunch of photos, or videos or just documentation, you just like you can't just keep it in your possession all your life, you know. But the good thing is this this is our business and this is our way of showing it. And then this is also our way of socially communicating with people. So that's my world of Facebook. Uh it's um I know some people it's, it's just like that network that you love to hate. Some people love it, some people don't, but it's um I've been able to share all my documentation on Facebook. It's been a great experience uh, that you know the network is available to share information and to push Africa and talk about our experience in this uh, building the future in Africa. All right, so that's that one. And the next one is the YouTube page. So YouTube page, uh, I was advised this, anyone that's coming on there, all of my links are up here. Uh, you can, let me push this over here. You can subscribe to the page. I even got my Instagram link, the website, Facebook, YouTube, and also TikTok page, which I don't really, it's one, it's every time you turn around, there's a new network and people want you to put pictures and videos up there and I'm, I'm like tapped out on what we have, but I did create a, um, a TikTok page. I want to say I even uploaded a few things uh, recently, but I'm sure I get to where I put things on there, but that's those things on the uh, uh, YouTube page. But once you go down, you'll see the featured video that's me uh, on King Ganda that's talking about traveling and investing in Africa. So that's a nice introduction video. And then scroll down here to see all the latest videos that we just uploaded in. That's a few promos and then the last set of ones in the Gambia. And then uh, once you click on videos itself, you see it. all of the videos in the last few uh, countries are Ghana, Tanzania, Senegal, Gambia. Those are literally the last four countries uh, and just a whole lot of uh, uh, videos. Uh, and some are great videos, some are okay videos. And some of those videos that, you know, just we just need to share just to, you know, you just see us just out in Africa, just enjoy an experience. 
And below what I have is this uh, multiple playlist. The multiple playlists represent all the countries that we have traveled to in the past. So all of those countries are there. Um, you know, I got a Liberia link on there. That's uh, we, um, we've been doing some great Liberia um, presentation. And that's uh, with the different uh, people that I'm dealing with uh, as far as connected in Liberia, as far as those, some of them live there, some of them live there, but I've done interviews with a few of them. So uh, definitely, definitely excited about uh, that journey and this uh, being able to have the experience to be a part of that future of tourism there. Uh, and in Senegal and Gambia, so, so far 75 videos, I have a whole lot more, especially with us out in the desert. I got this video, I, I'm probably looking at it now as funny, but it wasn't funny because I was the one holding the camera, my, my son and one of my sisters is uh, walking the camera all through the desert. And that was, uh, you know, that was an experience. Uh, uh, so this, uh, I have a few more adventures uh, there in, uh, in Senegal uh, to share. And in Ghana, uh, that's all the videos. I usually shoot more videos, shoot less. And these are from short clips to uh, long uh, videos, Tanzania and then Ghana again. Uh, once you go down the, um, the playlist, you see some more of the same thing. Uh, the previous years of videos. Uh, so I heavily believe in this document in our experience. And if anyone ever want to connect with me and say, hey, well, my name open to an interview, uh, I'm always open to that. You know, you know, we can always record you in an interview. But um, you know, my goal is this, uh, you know, to not expose anyone like that. Some people don't want to be out there like that. But if anyone uh, choose to uh, open to it, uh, we can do, do something five minutes, 10 minutes, and do a few throughout the, uh, the journey, uh, and so on. Uh, you know, sometimes we're moving and we don't always get to do those things. Uh, right, and scrolling down is um, another playlist, um, another main playlist is Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community. So this is over 150 videos and this is just from the inception of the community conference called Us Going to the Country, uh, or excuse me, um, Going to the, uh, the Community. For some reason I got country in my mindset today. Uh, going to the community that we have been able to just uh, build and just growing it as time go along. And so that's our end goal to build this community, build this town, build something where we can live, do business and just you know, run our operation to the highest level and just expand and expand. Uh, so that's the beautiful thing of the, uh, those who are coming with us to Ghana, you'd be able to just uh, check out the experience. Some people are gonna wonder, you know, but you know, I was like, well, it's not like here where you get billions of millions of dollars and you just build a whole community, you know, in this case, you know, we put our money together and, and then we are uh, built from the ground up. And so personally, it's a great experience and you know, we have to learn to do these things. And uh, sometimes we're not gonna always have everything up front. We're gonna have to just build it from the ground up and put time into it and put work into it. So that's what I feel like this, uh, you know, this uh, 17 uh, years of just traveling to Africa. Uh, and these are uh, Africa for Africans tours that we have built. And then uh, in general traveling the last 19 years, and then just learning and building the experience. Uh, and that's one thing I just feel good about, uh, the experience that, you know, been able to build and what we've been able to just experience and, you know, and learn. And then, and then when you're just ready to make another move or the, the next move, you're in good place because you have more things in place. So that's what the community represents. And I'm just happy that, you know, we've invested our energy into it. And, uh, you know, come see us in the next few years. And, you know, you know next, you know, you know it's, it's a whole incredible Pan-African town uh, where, you see uh, one of the most unique aspects of life uh, there in, in Africa, where you have people from different parts of the black world uh, participating in many different things. You know, it's an incredible dream. Uh, it's, uh, you know, and, uh, and you see Marcus Garvey right there in one of the posts. Uh, you see the black star and you know, that's where our operation come from. That's, um, that's from the, you know, the, you know, an inspired visionary. Uh, you know, look at Marcus Garvey as an inspired visionary. And so that's where we get Africa for Af Africans. And that's where we get uh, Black Star Pan African community. Uh, so that is um, that uh, highlight. And, and further down, there's some more journeys in some of these things. You know, it's one of those things as time go by and you look and you don't remember recording them. But and I look down and I see some of these uh, countries: South Africa, November 2019; uh, uh, Brazil, uh, July 2017; uh, Ethiopia, May 2017 and Egypt, uh, April 2004. So this is, this will be my most surprise uh, playlist because it's still this, and all these places I've never, and I didn't get a chance to go back. Some of them I didn't get a chance to go back to again, like Ethiopia and Brazil, uh, and also uh, Egypt until now when we have the schedule. So um, uh, this, uh, this is our, you know, part of that expansion into Africa. So just wanna share it with those who just 
you know, while getting to know us and getting to know what we do and things and say, this is this, where we have been, what we have been building. And then scroll down, this is the Africa Tours and Investment. So this conference call is usually posted on this link to where once you uh, click on it, you see a few different videos with uh, me doing in different, you know, whether I'm interviewing somebody, someone interviewing me, or maybe we're doing a show together, or maybe we're discussing a subject, or maybe we're talking about this part of Africa, that part of Africa, like uh, the one, uh, this one over here, I'm here with, uh, it's a Liberia video with uh, me and two sisters that live in Liberia from America. Then I'm over in this one with uh, my sister, uh, Matrella, that lives in Egypt. And then this is one of my good brothers here. Um, and, you know, he's there doing business in Sierra Leone. And then, you know, my good brother here on this Pan-African Investment Development video, um, Brian, uh, he's building his uh, home in uh, Ghana. Uh, so we just have a good network of energy in this. Uh, and what, you know, unfortunately nowadays, uh, you just literally got to create video content. It's uh, literally no way around it, whether you're popular like some people are or not, because it's like, um, that's how you just get information out in a search engine and you just put details out in presentation. So uh, along with these videos, there's more slides, uh, more, um, more playlists uh, as you scroll down and scroll down and scroll down. And some are, you know, some are very interesting, some are uh, educational and some are just, uh, just different things that we share. I will play this over here with uh, school supplies and I have a lot more videos than that. But just, just got to get to adding them and then uh, drumming and dancing. So it's connecting all the different aspects of the culture. And then the last thing I want to show is this. While you're here on YouTube, um, just got to go up to the top page and then you have live videos. I don't have any shorts. Um, There's just one of those things that I don't sit around and play my phone like that, but I'm sure I got videos I can just upload to it. But the videos are going to be in videos, which is just all of the videos that I upload. And then the other one is just live shows. And some live shows that interview, some live shows are the shows that we're talking about Pan-Africanism, trying to build an energy enough for a crowd and share information and educate people and put positive information out there. Because uh, one of the things is, you know, it's the, you know, the balance of the world. You have other people putting out foolishness and negative things out there about uh, our culture, our reconnection into Africa and things. And we're putting out positive things out there. Uh, so from the tours to the shows to the interviews, this is just what we showcase and share. So the goal is just to keep you updated and keep you posted. If you subscribe to the channel, you get videos. If you, um, you know, you're on the uh, WhatsApp group, you get posts. Uh, you're on the email list. Email gets sent out. Uh, you communicate with me. I'm always uploading things on the website. Uh, so information will be out there available um, for anyone that's just open to reviewing, listening, and things like that. I know some of the things that we have is very long uh, as far as this uh, even this conference called other things, but um, and we also have a lot of short uh, presentation, but I just believe in presenting and sharing information. So this is a collection of the videos that we have been doing as far as live. And I've been able to work a few uh, YouTube um, interviews in there. So the goal is just to uh, build the experience and you know, use these networks and just you know, keep on sharing and showcasing what we're doing in Africa. So family, I can go on and talk more and more. Uh, appreciate everyone um, joining us for this uh, conference call. And for anyone that's uh, have any questions, uh, please um, uh, go ahead. Uh, now is the ideal time to ask your questions. So we can, we can just answer your question and go through it. But uh, beyond that, it's just a lot of tour schedule, a lot of tour details, a lot of countries, and there's only so much um, we can go over. So. But uh, before, uh, what you do is just uh, unmute yourself, uh, introduce yourself, give your name, where you're calling from, uh, what country you're traveling to, and your question. Okay. My name is Joel Morris. I'm from Los Angeles. I'm going to Tanzania. I agree, Joel. Basically, how you doing? Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Happy and, Mother's Day. Uh, I have a couple of questions. One would be, I don't know whether you showed whether um, we're going to need adapters for our phones or uh, laptops or whatever when we go to Ghana or Tanzania. The plugs will the plugs would be different than they would be in the United States. Am I right? Uh, yes. Yeah, so let me just answer that one real quick. So the yeah. thing that we always recommend and we put it on the uh, the preparation list is to get uh, international. Uh, adapters and also international extension cords 
Uh, so uh, once you do that, uh, whatever country you travel to, uh, you'll be able to plug in your phone um, and all your devices that you need and things like that. Okay. And would it also be a good idea to like get a charger for your phone, you know, in case you're out on the road or something like that, to make sure you still got enough juice for it? Uh, yes, so you can bring a portable charger, uh, and then this one I have a it has a cable, and it, it, it could charge up a few phones. Right. So those are the those are the, the things that uh, you'd bring as far as this, uh, you know, supportive equipment, especially if you just um, you know, and if you're going to take a lot of uh, photos, you know, you may have to bring a um, an SD card um, to, you know, to add to your phone to take more photos. So those are the things that we have on the list to kind of just encourage those who are looking to do these things to be prepared and ready because when you're doing certain things like everything that we have on a schedule we just do it once so you just it's like a one-time chance to just get whatever documentation uh that you have okay and yes. also i was wondering since you know, i'm going to tanzania um i was looking on i think one on your list and you talked about luggage like from the united states to um you know going over there it's you can bring on two uh, bags that you know that you're not not carry on bags, but you're gonna put it. You know, um, they're gonna be check-in bags, and if they're less than fifty pounds, then uh, they can be brought on for free. And mm -hmm. uh, and but yet, if I think if we, I'm not sure if we fly from uh, Tanzania to Zanzibar. Are we going to have to, uh, and I think if you, you can only check in one, one bag and the other bag, I think you have to pay for, how much money would it have to be? What, what would the cost be that for the second bag that you check in? Um, I usually recommend everyone that's bring extra $50, uh, 50 US dollars, and that should cover your bag. Okay. Um, okay. So, and, um, and then we'll give you the exact amount in Tanzania shilling, that way you have it in cash. And no one can tell you that the AT machine is not working. No one can tell you um, that the um, <laughs> that the credit card machine is not working. I'm telling you, <laughs> it's uh, it's amazing uh, the things that you know that that can just literally hold you up and things okay. like that. So uh, we usually work those things ahead of time, and uh, this will be our fourth time going. So everything I'm telling everyone is just usually like uh, ways we have to do this, how to make things more efficient because that's one of the tours where you're moving. You know, you're, you're moving. Um, you know, less driving, but uh, more, you know, more, you know, flying and, you know, flying and prayer boat riding and things like that. Okay. Uh, so in that case, when you're flying on Air Tanzania or we're flying on other airline, um, that's what you'd have to just uh, work out. Um, so, uh, okay. and then what they do is, is they're combining the weight. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. All right. Thank you. But yes, Joel, uh, you you ready to go? Um, and um, and you and I got to talk again. Uh, yeah, we are. We, we, we'll talk tomorrow because you know I'm still trying to get that passport fit picture. And yeah, probably, get, yeah, we have to. Visa. Uh, huh? Yeah, we're gonna do the, the yeah do the visa. So for every, anyone that's uh, looking to connect with a visa, uh, we're working on the Tanzania visa because that's the next country we have. So anyone wants to start, we can start now. And uh, the part that uh, you're gonna get, um, you know, you're gonna get. The, part, the only part that I see anyone getting stuck at, which is the part where we're at right now, is you have to scan your passport style photo and you have to scan it to where it's a, it's a small enough size to where you can upload. And then you have to, um, so it's going to be a passport style photo and also your passport page, uh, your passport face page and the name page. Both of those have to be scanned as two separate uh, documents. And they give you an example when you get there and then. Um, then once you upload those two things, and then I'll give you the flight itinerary, you upload it, uh, you, you, you will close out. But all of these information is, uh, that I send, the best thing always is to copy and paste, copy and paste, or put in the information that I have in. And then any part that you get stuck at that's complicated or tricky, uh, you can just always call me, uh, whether you need to send me your file or whether you have me walk you through on the phone and everything. You know, I, I got you. This is what we do. Technical and business support. We just get these things done. Because beyond that, some of these things, it would, it would just frustrate you. Uh, and uh, I tell people, uh, before you get frustrated, just call me and we talk. And uh, all of these things, uh, we find easy, simple ways to get them work out and get them to work. Um, so I got you. And so far, so good. You know what I mean? Uh, we've gotten yeah. documents for over 600 people over the years. Uh, so uh, we're going to work it out and get, get you ready. 
Uh, so right, I'll, be, I'll be on standby Monday. Oh, don't worry. I'm going I'm to give you a call tomorrow. <laughs> so right, thank you, brother. Absolutely. Hi, uh, can I ask a question, please? Uh, sure. Uh, greetings. Uh, um, introduce yourself, God, please. Yeah, this is Maurice Johnson. Uh, my yes, wife is not here. And I'm, we're, we're very happy to be coming here. Excuse my ignorance, but I just do have a couple of questions. Uh, number one, is there going to be a final checklist on things that we need to bring? I know you've mentioned things like washcloths, ponchos, um, money yeah, for second was, baggages and things of that nature. That was the list I was going over. Um, not sure if you're with me on the what? website. But, uh, if you're in front of a computer, I can uh, walk you. No, I'm not in front of a computer, but my main question is this though. And I apologize, I just saw this uh, on YouTube. I just saw this on YouTube, but like, right. what, what about like the security of like the hotels we're going to be at? Like, that's just my main concern. My, my, my main concern. Well, like, first of all, you have to tell me what you see on YouTube. Um, I saw like people like armed robberies at hotels and things like that, I mean, that nature. I mean, I'm sure bad things happen in countries. I can't speak on it because I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't know. I've not seen that video. And uh, other thing is, uh, we have an organized tour where we, you know, you, 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 you walk out the airport, you get in a tour bus, uh, you leave, the, you leave the hotel, and you get right back on the tour bus, and you get back to America. You're with us the whole time. Okay. And I mean, I uh, can't uh, speak if people decide to just walk up somewhere to some alley and do certain things like that. I, 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 I we have no control over that. But uh, is it popular to have a uh, tourism crime around us? Uh, no, it's uh, not. Do uh, crazy stuff happen in the country? Uh, yes, uh, uh, there's more and more things. There are more and more crimes going on in the country uh, as uh, you know the time has been coming popular. I remember first going to Ghana in 2006, and it was one of the safest places ever. Now you fast forward 17 years later, it's uh, a lot more dangerous and a lot more petty crimes uh, and snatches and and you know and robberies and things like that. So we just have to just keep everyone safe and move in an organized unit and do tourism. Fantastic, you've answered so, my question. So, the hotel, so the hotel at, the, the first yes. one we go to MJ Grand, uh, that one is a secured hotel where you have security right there and it's a pretty secure place and our bus drives right in. And it's a nice also neighborhood. And then One Africa is this, uh, it's a community where we have people around us looking out for us. And the same thing when we go to uh, Kumasi, it's in a secure compound where you have security and there's just people who know us. Okay. So those are my only questions. My wife may have some questions for you, but thank you so much for answering absolutely. my questions. Definitely. Thank you definitely. So much. But, but we got you. Uh, did you get your visas? I uh, just want to make sure you're good. Everyone has. I'll let her answer that question. Hi, Bomani. I'm still waiting. You know, we submitted them in March. So they keep telling me that um, they are behind and that they keep saying we will have them before the time. And I get the impression they want me to stop bothering them. But I'll be calling again uh, tomorrow. Yes, uh, we're very close. Uh, so uh, it's one of those things we have to. Yeah, it, uh, it should only take anywhere from about uh, 10, no more than 10 to 15 days. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. And then the main thing is that they have their passport. That's the issue. Well, we they sent the passports back. Oh, I got you. If they send your passport back, you have your visas. You have to just open it up and look in the, look in the book and you'll see a visa mark from, mark from two to five days unless they send you a notice saying that uh, your visa is rejected because you didn't do something. It's either or. But if they send your passport back, your visa is physically stapled in the passport. So um, I'll grab it. Let me grab I'll it. Have to, yeah, let me check because I was looking for it because we just got back from Jamaica and I didn't see it in there. Oh wow! You said, it's, but you said they sent it back. Yeah, they sent it back within five days. Did they say, put any notice of why they sent it back? Mm, no, they had us pay for the postage and everything. And then when I called them, they were like, "Oh, we're still processing. We've been behind." That's some so good like, stuff. That's I some know, right? <laughs> that means if, because they have to, they have to put your, they have to put your visa, your your visa has to be in your passport. So that yeah, is I'm gonna, I'm but, gonna look again because um I didn't maybe I didn't see it. I was just assuming it was something from Jamaica. That's what happened. Yeah, you probably can't see this. Uh, it's not what, but it's just that's what you're seeing. It's easy. <clears throat> it's, it's honestly easy to miss. I have, I have people mm -hmm. call me and say they gave me my passport, but they didn't give me a visa. And I tell them take their time and look through, it, and then they say, oh yes, yeah, right here. 
Okay, I'm gonna take my time then because I was rushing to get to Jamaica and we just got back from Jamaica. So let me check. Again. Yeah, they, 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 if they send you back a passport and the visa is not in there, they will, they will usually let you know that uh, you didn't comply with something or this uh, documentation or this requirement was not met. So we couldn't issue a visa. You know, they're, they're very proper like that. They'll, they'll literally type you up a letter and, and send oh. it over or put something there. But if they just send it back to you like that, that's your, your documentation. Uh, but you know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But uh, definitely, you can just confirm that with me. But I'm almost absolute because that's it's a common communication I have with people. They say they didn't get their visa. Oh, okay. I hope you're right. I hope I'm you're hope, right. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, uh, <laughs> All right. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you're welcome. And I'll be on All standby right, if you ever want to communicate with me if you uh, via text or a phone call or anything. I'm just trying to make myself available for everyone while we <clears> around and close out on the last set of things that need to be done so we can be ready also. Uh, when I mean, we just me and my boy, and uh, so uh, just yeah. You know, so I'll be on standby. So I'm hoping that everything is good. Honestly, uh, I would tell the sister to look for it right now. I wouldn't wait too long because uh, you know, <laughs> trips coming up, and you want to take get take take care of that while you can, especially on this Zoom call. But it's up to you. Right, well, perfect. And, uh, uh, and let me know if you have any other questions, uh, Chancia yeah? or Maurice. All right. Um, another person that was. Bomani, Bomani, I checked. It's in here. It's in here. <laughs> Good job. I'm so yeah, proud of you. I thought it was in here. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Absolutely. I figured that. I'm 100 for 100 now. Yeah, hey, I, I have a question. Oh, sure, go ahead. Yeah, this is uh, Quentin and uh, Vera in uh, Dallas. Oh, and, good. Yes, and I was talking to our bank, and they told us that they could give us uh, the local currency here. Is that a good idea, or should we wait until we get there? You know, I'm, 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 I'm one in person. Just uh, look at it. If you can get some of the local currency, like, say, example, if you can get about $200, it's worth it just to have. It's same thing as if any one of you, if you ever get to the, uh, any, anyone that's traveling with us, if you're ever at the, whole, the airport uh, and you can get some, so a few, a few uh, you know, a few small change, even $50, $100, uh, get it there. Uh, just, uh, and then when we find the best or uh, better rate for you or whatever, then you can just get more. Um, but uh, it's one of those things where, you, you know, you, but the exchange rate is not, it's, and then when you, it's, it's just, it's just a minimal that you may save anyway. Um, okay. So, so what you can do, uh, you can, uh, you can, you can look at what the exchange rate is uh, out there and then what they're going to give you. So they're going to give you market value that may not be bad. Okay. Uh, and then you and I also have to connect because uh, I want to talk with you about, um, about if you, if you're open to flying from the Gambia to, Flying from Senegal, excuse me. Uh, flying from um, the Gambia to Senegal because you have uh, instead of the one-way drive that uh, we're going to work out for you. Okay, we'll we'll do that then. Yeah, I mean, I uh, just yeah, I just want to put it in the area because I need I made a note to call you also to talk with you about that option because you and I uh, need to also talk you know about whatever you decide that you want to do um, in the Gambia after Ghana. So. And there's some, that's something that I just want to get my uh, guide ready for. Uh, so just now that we're talking, just wanted to just share that with you. That's perfect. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's uh, it, it was um, it, it's it, it's supposed to be like a five six hour drive, but you know those things never work out like that. And so I'm just telling people that you know this my experience was fun. It was a great experience, but it's like you know if you can save time and just fly and just get to your destination and relax, that'll be good. Other than that, it's a long drive. That's from the Gambia to the car. Oh yes, from the Gambia to the Senegal airport because okay. in order for you to get back, uh, since you booked with Delta, uh, we we're able to set the Delta flight to leave from Senegal. Unfortunately, Delta don't have a flight from uh, 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 the Gambia. So you'd have to drive from Senegal. And then once you get to the Gambia, then you can uh, fly out on Delta Airlines. So the best way that I was calculating based on my experience the last time a month ago, is if you flew from uh, the Banjul, the Gambia airport, directly to Senegal. And then that would just uh, put you right there to where you can just get on your uh, US flight. Correct. And that yeah. would be, okay. And that would be on- uh, The 20th. No, that would be a Delta flight going from- uh, That would be a, um, a Air Senegal flight. 
The only okay. flight that they literally have available, uh, it, I mean, and it's only four times a week. So right. we we'll schedule it on the time that they have available. Okay. Um, we, can, we, can, we can discuss it then. Okay, perfect. And it's a 45 minute flight. Uh, okay. So I've been looking into that. Um, you know, the, the last two times I've traveled to Senegal and Gambia, I vowed never to drive back there. <laughs> all right and 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 this time i say not it wasn't so bad and then you know, i did not come back you know but and it wasn't so bad as just uh uh if um you know because the things that uh, i would just explain to, you know while everyone is listening also is that when you're traveling from country to country the thing is like you know like most of us are used to traveling from like from new york to florida that's on i-95 or, or traveling the west coast highway or traveling somewhere that route but in between both countries uh what you have is little to no rest stops, little to no even gas stations and little to no place, you know, if you want to sit down and have your dinner or your lunch. You just, I mean, not saying that nothing doesn't exist. You just, you're just very limited. Okay. Um, so that's why um, uh, I mentioned that. So uh, you'd be, you know, you just enjoy a beautiful dinner in the Gambia. Then, our, our, you know, our, bro our, you know, our brother, our brother, our brother Uzman just uh, take you to um, the airport and then you just fly to the Gambia and then you just wait for your flight. So, but yeah, I'll definitely I'll connect with you. But uh, beyond that, let me know if you have a, another question. That was, that was it then. All right, perfect, excellent. All right, so family, the line is open. Um, uh, Rashawn, you're there. Um, uh, would you like to join us uh, in a question? Or uh, Sister Kuvi or Staten? Take the off. All right. Uh, so, Farah, uh, let me just mute you back. All right, so family, the line is open, and uh, we're talking about our historic connection on the journey of a lifetime. So that's our 2023-2024 schedule. So what I've been doing is working to this, uh, get uh, the flow of all the tours going so we can get back to, you know, back to those beautiful days, uh, you know, those beautiful days of you know the the bigger groups that we have with a bigger bus and things like that, uh, so that's what we're looking to do uh, for next year, especially there in uh, you know all three countries, um, you know, Liberia, Ghana, and Egypt. Uh, so, yeah, I have a question. Uh, uh, sure, go ahead. I'm Gail from Dallas, and I have a question about uh, the trip to Liberia. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. The payments are they done monthly or? Will it be enough to just have the final payment, everything paid by the due date? Uh, no, what we usually do up front um, in order to count uh, if the tour should go out six months later or go out even three months later is our uh, commitments via deposit. Uh, if individuals want to pay for all of it up front or, certain, or at a certain time, that's fine. But um, uh, deposit is uh, due this uh, up front and then, um, or just, you know, if it won't work for you up front, then you just, uh, pay it when you're ready but uh just that's how we build the group our goal is to get the first tier of people committed and then you know next month and so on let's work on the next set of people who are coming in uh build a group uh something that we just have to build over a period of uh, a year to get a, a good sized group of anywhere from uh 15 to 20 or 20 to 30. Uh, that way we can build uh the budget for the journey okay thanks uh yes Hello, Bumani. Uh, this is Staten Heard. Um, Go ahead. Uh, obviously, I have not yet uh, committed to go on a trip. My my thought is, I was thinking about uh, spring of 2024. My goal is to go, and I'm hoping to move to Ghana. So my goal for the trip is to familiarize myself with Ghana and understand, you know, the lay of the land, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm wondering, you know, I know it's pretty structured uh, in terms of the, you know, the trip and all the itinerary. But when you talk about repatriation and, and, and investment, what do you what do you mean by that? What are those? You know, what is around that? Uh -huh. yeah, absolutely, I can uh, definitely explain that uh, um, for clarity. All right, so uh, let's, uh, let's talk about uh, uh, repatriation. 
Uh, repatriation is just uh, it's a process that we're just trying to introduce uh, to people who are looking to return to the land of their ancestors. So if they want to live and do business, when you're traveling with us on the tour, it just opens up your world to where you can see because you're meeting my friends, my associates, my business people there that are living in the country and they come from the same place you come from. So we're showcasing that world and connecting you to that world. So if someone wants to do that, then they have models, they have connections, they have us to help them connect them and you can see it full, full flow. Now, as far as the investment, the investment is just educating those who are interested in uh, the same thing, living and doing business in the country, uh, finding out more about how the legal system work, how to, uh, the, the, the business system, how to you know, get things started, uh, who to network with, uh, who you can reach for consultation. Uh, so it just opens up the education aspects of investment. And then the other physical investment is our, our Black Star Pan-African community. Uh, where you can, uh, and this this is specifically in Ghana, that's the only country that we have anything uh, set up for the aspects of investment. The rest of the country is kind of, you know, it's, you know, just introducing ourselves and just learning little by little. But as far as our uh, Ghana, the, the Black Star Pan-African community is a physical land and slash real estate development where people have put their money in and uh, acquired lots and they're building their homes on those lots. Uh, so when we're doing a tour, you're seeing what people have invested their money in, what they're building. And you'll see our office uh, representation, which represent uh, what we're looking to build and manage there, which is a real estate operation. And then you'll see future projects of land as far as the 60 acres. And then you'll see an introduction of the world of the beach to where uh, you know, you're know you just opening your minds and, and, and to what a group of us can do, especially since you know, we have influenced that entire town there uh, called Jahadzi. It's, two hours away from Accra, right outside of Winneba, and it's, it has beach access. Uh, we physically just put that uh, whole town on the map. It was just an unnamed uh, town. And we just, we just created the, you know, the marketing energy for it. And then now you have more people coming and acquiring land and getting ready to set up and building that uh, entire town. Uh, so as trendsetters, you know, we're just uh, building that future and educating people about living, doing business and investing in Africa. So that's the whole aspects of our repatriation investment, which is what we title all of our tours because that end up being the end goal uh, beyond just tourism and something more than just tourism where we can just offer and say, this is, um, you know, it's kind of just, uh, you know, to, to add to, you know, to sweeten the deal or just to add as an extra uh, because it's like we put all this energy into it, might as well at least nothing else put the energy out there as far as what we end up doing right now anyway. So that's how that is as far as I'm. I, I see. Now, it sounds like you've got a lot of networking opportunities already built in. Will there be time to personalize those opportunities to see, you know, to talk to people and that kind of thing? Uh, what I recommend is uh, to definitely stay longer. Uh, when you stay, stay longer. longer. When you stay longer, it just makes it a lot more flexible. So the people that you're feeling or you want to connect to, you can always just go back and network with them, connect with them, uh, have those conversations, have those dialogues to where you can just um, kind of just come up with a, a game plan to where you can just work things out and then just kind of build from there on organically. And that's the good thing I would say about Ghana. I can't, I'm just, unfortunately, can't speak about any other country, but we're trying to get there uh, where we just have enough energy in the country where, you know, as long as you just connect with the people that you know that's that you're feeling, you know, you're good to go. Gotcha. Okay, I understand. So the option to stay longer or add, you know, uh, extend is, is there. Is that correct? Absolutely. As soon as you uh, commit to the tour, you just give me your dates and say this is the date that I want to come back. So uh, when I'm doing the reservations so for the tickets, that those dates are already set. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, yes, uh, we, uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, just uh, <laughs> try to make sure we keep everything nice and simple and smooth and easy and, and just make, a, make it a you know, simpler process as time go along. Thank you much. Uh, absolutely. Uh, Sister Kuvi, can you hear us? Can you hear us? Or do you just enjoy just listening? Uh, Rashawn, uh, if you open, um, you can also just, um, just try to just hear from everyone that's on here. Trying to make some of these calls more interactive because uh, I was talking so much, uh, my mouth just got dry. All right, so family. I got a question. I got a question no. about the check in. 
the uh, the, the the bags that you bring on the plane. Um, now, does it have to be one piece of luggage, or can it have like one of those backpacks along with another small uh, luggage for you know in order for you to bring it on the plane, or does it have to be just one piece of luggage? All right, so as far as the uh, baggage are restrictions uh, on Delta Airlines, so as far as check bags, you're allowed two 50 check pound uh, check bags, All right. two separate 50 pound check bags. So once you check those, then the next two things you have is just a carry on. So what I recommend is just uh, do a roll on that can fit in the overhead bin above you. And then uh -huh. also a backpack that can just fit uh, in front of the seat, uh, under okay. the seat in front of you. Uh, so right. those are the two, the, that's the, the same flow that, uh, you know, we travel all the time, and that's that's my personal recommendation. Uh, right. but, uh, but it does okay. work uh, that smooth. Yeah. All right. So you could just for a carry on, you could just have like a small bag plus a backpack. Yeah. Uh, yes. Exactly. Okay. You good, put good. um. Let's make sure you put all your valuables in one or the other. So right. Right, you put it in your backpack. Okay. And, uh, you know, put some extra clothes. Unfortunately. Uh -huh. Uh, in your carry-on bag, it's, I, it's, right? It's, I tell people, especially if you're traveling on the holidays, because then people, it's like playing Russian roulette with your luggage. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, they are they are classic. <laughs> you never know what they're gonna be doing. Right. Like Lydia, I've seen all kinds of things happen. Like you wonder, like how come you have one bag? How can you don't have any bag? How come everyone else have all their bags? And I'm like, yo, <laughs> you gotta leave somebody bag. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. And, you know, so it's either that or, you know, Jeopardy has a plane crashing, but whatever they have to do, it's, uh, this, it tells us to deal with it. But the reason why I mentioned about this, the extra clothes in your carry on bag is just because of that. And this, you know, so we joke about this, but it's actually not funny because no one likes this stuff missing, especially if I'm coming back, I, who cares about the bag? Uh, but, uh, you know, you can get that next day or so, but, you know, you're going. So the main thing you're going to need to change all your things. So you just make sure you put all those important stuff in that. Uh, carry on bag for okay. at least two days, you know, okay. and things like that. And then that should be enough time to retrieve your bags. But that's just an emergency situation. And I'm glad I follow my I follow my rules the last time because that saved me. Other than that, I've just been an angry person. But nevertheless, you know, you just go to the, the mall or something, buy some new stuff. It's just unfortunate. It's what it <laughs> is. It's not, I'm not saying it's that easy. I don't wish it on anyone. But the good thing is this. The summer journeys, it's just not like that. Uh, but other than that, what I recommend is just if you just get to the airport ahead of time, because the, the, the late minute rush, that's when your stuff just get left behind. Uh, so, and you could do everything completely right and it still happens. So, so tag your bags, um, make sure that, you know, you have all your personal tags on there, lock your bags. Uh, these are just all the things that we can just recommend. And, you know, we just, honestly, we, all, we just all do our best and just, you know, we hope for the best and then, Anything from there, we just, you know, work it out uh, and just, you know, keep it moving. But the most important thing is, is the two carry-on bags. Make sure every single important thing is in those bags. And, I mean, clothes, clothes can always be replaced. You have, you know, you have your business stuff and stuff like that. Don't make a mistake and leave one of your cameras in your bag and things like that. Uh, those are the things that just, you know, your laptop and things like that. So that's just the things you just want everyone to process. Um, and then the good thing is uh, the journey is ahead of time. So you have enough time to really just get it together. So right now, if you haven't started packing and you're traveling with us, please get it packing. All right, so family, the line is open before we close. Uh, go ahead. No, I was saying thank you. Uh, yes, absolutely, uh, Joel, and I'll uh, be on standby to connect with you. And everyone else, appreciate you. And uh, once again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers of the world. And family, have a wonderful night. Enjoy your, you know, your week. And um, I'll be here getting ready for my Ghana journey and getting others ready for Tanzania and other journeys. So reach out to me if you want to talk, have questions. Um, I can talk while I pack and things like that. So I'm on standby if anybody needs to connect with me. <laughs> All right, so everyone, good night. Good night, Bomani. Good night. Good night, brother. Good night. Thank good night. you. And thanks. Good night.